Today we have what I like to call the prompt perfector. Now it's not going to start off with a prompt. What you're going to do is feed ChatGPT an idea, a title, a topic, or anything that you need. Then ChatGPT is going to ask you a series of questions and give you some amazing prompts. This prompt makes all my prompts so much better. It won't stop until you get every question answered and you're happy with the sort of content and prompt it provides you. Now we'll use this prompt to generate images today in Leonardo AI, but the cool thing about this prompt perfector is that you don't have to use it just for AI art. It can be used for anything. YouTube thumbnails, you could use it for social media content or blog content. It really is a prompt perfector and by just giving you a series of questions to answer, once you answer them, it's going to keep revising the prompt until it gets it just perfect the way you want it. Okay, so now the first thing we'll do is head over to my prompts database. It has all sorts of different tabs up here at the top. Anywhere from AI art prompts to SEO and today we're actually going to be going into the prompt engineering one. One of my favorites because all these prompts that you see on your screen right here, these are actually prompt generating engineers, prompts that generate prompts. So what we're going to do is scroll down to the one we're using today and this is going to be called the prompt perfector. So let's just go ahead and copy this whole entire prompt. I'll post a link in my description so you can get full access to this database right here. For hundreds of prompts, click the links in the description. It says I want you to become my prompt engineer. Your goal is to help me craft the best possible prompt for my needs and so here is the simple process it's a communicator and so it's going to ask you what your need is then based off your input it's going to take it study it and then ask you a few more series of questions completely relevant to what you're needing so let's start let's try one that we're going to use to generate a photorealistic image to use in leonardo ai so when i did this earlier you could see i used it to create a documentary style photo depicting a young woman in a dystopian world and then on my screen over here here are a few examples that it made for me it did just this completely off of my description that one prompt gave me all these amazing images to make in leonardo ai so we'll just start with simple terms as simple as possible because let's let chat GPT do all the work for us. So if you just have a simple idea in your head, just start with that. There's no need to go and come up with an elaborate prompt. That's what this prompt perfector is here for. A young woman in a dystopian world. Here is the first prompt it gives us, okay? Very simple, two sentences, but that's where this perfector comes in. Let's answer these first series of questions because we're going to turn this prompt into something a lot more elaborate and detailed to use. Specifically in Leonardo AI, if you really want to get down to it, there are some specific featured fine-tuned models that specifically work better with a more detailed and elaborate prompt. So if you look at this one right here, one of my favorites, it's newer, it's Leonardo Vision X. XL, and it's a versatile model that excels at realism and photography, better results with longer prompts. So that's a great one for longer prompts, but then we can go over here to this one. Leonardo Diffusion XL is even better with short prompts. So let's try this option really quick. Let's go ahead and copy just the short one, head over to Leonardo AI, and then use this model that is built specifically for short prompts. Let's go back over to ChatGPT and then finish up this Q&A process. Let's go ahead and answer number one. I'm going to put post apocalyptic and then we'll go ahead and go to number two and I'll say uh, the woman is just a young blonde hair woman with blue eyes sad. So we'll just leave it at that. And then would you like the prompt to include details about her appearance? We'll tie everything into number two. Sad, wearing modern clothes, looking directly into the camera. Okay, let's just go and start with this one for now. It's going to take it, it's going to understand, and then it's going to give us a revised prompt right here. Now you can see this one's going to be a little bit longer. So here's the first prompt up here. Now here is the second one. And what I like to do is that each time I get a prompt, I like to just go ahead and copy it and then try it out each time. Here's the one it made for us in Leonardo AI. We'll go back over here to ChatGPT and let's keep this process going. What caused the apocalypse in this world? It was a natural disaster, war, pandemic, or something else. Uh, let's just say, number one, I'm going to say a war. Okay, so it updates the prompt right here. And then here is this prompt right here that it gave us. Okay, cool. Again, we'll try this one by copying and pasting this. Go back over to Leonardo AI and uh, let's choose a different fine-tuned model this time. Let's take off Photo Real and then let's do Albedo Base XL. We're going to do Cinematic and now paste this one in. 
But while we're doing that, look at these that it generated for us right here. Pretty cool. So I said blonde hair, blue eyes, looking directly at the camera. Okay, so then here is this prompt in albedo base. Pretty cool. So for the next one, I'll put a cinematic photo, photorealistic, beautiful landscape of uh, snow-capped mountains. Let's see if uh, we can get something a little bit... Uh, happier and scenic with this one. Okay, well, I actually just exhausted my GPT-4 allowance for the time being, so I'm over here in 3.5, which is okay because this prompt is going to work in both. And so here we go. I changed it up a little bit. I said a cinematic photo, beautiful landscape of snow-capped mountains, and then here is the revised prompt it gave me. Okay, pretty simple, but let's just take it a step further and let's just try one more image. Blue hour, so blue hour is going to be like that dusk, and then we're going to say large mountains, snowy, and then this is pretty cool. I'll say uh, a lake in the background. Some so that's something I really like about this prompt perfector, specifically number three. I didn't have anything else in mind. I just knew I wanted a nice snow-capped mountain scene, like maybe like Utah, but I didn't have a lake or wildlife in mind. So that's where these questions come in handy. Uh, generate a photorealistic cinematic image. Okay. Got the lake in the background. Let me go ahead and copy that and then head back over to uh, Leonardo AI and then hit generate. So we have three rows and we'll come back to visit this in a second. But if I want to open up a new chat, we can do that. I can copy copy and paste this prompt back in here. Now watch this. So instead of making a photorealistic image, we're going to do something different this time. Now what we're going to do is get some YouTube thumbnail ideas. I'll do YouTube thumbnail ideas and then just simply type that in. Again, let's let ChatGPT do all the work. Now the first thing is specify the niche. AI for the niche. And then we're going to say any themes in mind, uh, blue and uh, purple and uh, unique ideas. And then any sort of information like text or images related to your video. I won't include any text. Now, the text will work if you utilize DALI, but since I exhausted my allowance today, I won't include text, but it does work well with DALI. Let me hit enter here and then just look at some of these ideas right here. So I won't go back and forth to Leonardo AI, but I wanted to show you guys that this could be used for anything. So I got my five different thumbnail ideas. Background, deep blue with subtle purple gradients, an abstract AI circuit board, and bright blue. Okay, this looks pretty good so far. So this time, we're going to try social media post. And then again, the questions are what comes in handy. So specify the platform. We're going to say Twitter and uh, we're going to say what theme do we have in mind? And then we're going to say theme is SEO tips. And we're going to have it be, um, let's just say uh, casual. And then any other information such as hashtags, use the SEO tip hashtag. Okay, this is pretty cool. Let's go ahead and see what this can come up with now. Compose a casual Twitter post offering valuable SEO tips. Use the hashtag SEO tip in your post to reach a wider audience. If we like that, we can use it. If not, answer these questions right here. So we're gonna say number one, yes. Okay, number two, any specific SEO tip. Um, SEO tips to improve your ranking. And then it finalized the prompt. Compose a casual Twitter post offering SEO tips to improve Google ranking. Keep the post within the standard 280 character limit. And then here is the hashtag we're going to use. Now let's copy that. Now let's actually paste the prompt into a new chat. Here we go. Look at this right here. Beautiful. Boost your Google ranking with these SEO tip gems. There's the hashtag. Here are the five key points. Keywords matter. Research and sprinkle them in naturally. Mobile friendly. Site equals thumbs up. I like this. Quality backlinks rule. Okay, pretty cool. So you can see it does a fairly good job. And so in this SEO SEO one, we might have wanted to uh, narrow down these tips a little bit more by keeping the conversation going, but just for the examples I'm sharing with you guys today, I just want to provide you with the details on how you can use this prompt. So take this prompt and use it for yourself and let me know what you guys think in the comments. Were you successful and what exactly did you try and use this prompt for? But thank you so much for watching this video and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button because you'll be the first to know when all of these videos come out. But until then, we'll see you next time.